secret that the Shani sisters love pocket holes. And to make those, you gotta have a Craig jig. I'm gonna be showing you how this thing works, and by the end of this video, you're gonna be a Craig jig ninja. First step is we're gonna set this block to the thickness of our wood. It's got a hard stock, so it'll click into place, and it's set. That's all you have to do for that block. Simple. We're using two by six boards. All two by boards are one and a half inches thick. Step two is to set the depth collar on your drill bit. That might be confusing because some of you are like, oh gosh, what size screw do I use? Most of the boards that we use are one bys and two bys. So the thickness of the one bys is three quarters of an inch thick. The thickness of the two bys is one and a half inches thick. So you're either gonna use one and a quarter inch screws or you're gonna use two and a half inch. And we're really awesome and in our plans we tell you what size screws to use. Your K5 will come with a depth collar guide and an Allen wrench. Loosen the depth collar with the Allen wrench and it'll fit flush to the block. And then tighten it. Now it's time to drill the hole. It's pocket hole time. It's pocket hole time. So drop the board into the Craig jig and then you're gonna set the clamp. Yeah. And now Ashley's gonna drill our first pocket hole. I just put a hole in A, and now I'm gonna put a hole in C. Okay, so we have our pocket holes made, and now we're gonna show you how we're attaching that board to another board. All right, here we go. Screw on the driver. And that's it. I made it out. It really is that simple, guys. Just two steps. Set the Craig jig for the thickness of your wood and then set for the length of your screw. And then go download our free plan. Make a lot of pocket holes and build some furniture. Love it! Woo! I know there's a big mystery behind what that is and maybe what it's for. We're gonna solve it for you there. today. Sorry, because I, I go. <laughs>